Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a field located in western Kentucky where the winter wheat harvest is underway with a pair of Class 8 John Deere S780 combines equipped with 40-foot wide Gearinghoff TrueFlex Razor Draper heads. These big machines are rated at 473 horsepower. They carry 400 bushels of grain and unload through a 28 and a half foot unloading auger at 3.8 bushels per second. Carrying away the grain is a 570 engine horsepower John Deere 9570RX tractor and a 1300 bushel Brent 1396 grain cart. This pair of S780 combines are not only harvesting the wheat for grain, they're also windrowing straw to be used on the farm's cattle operation. A pair of John Deere tractors and round balers are following right behind the harvesters, collecting the windrows. The first baling team is comprised of a 230 engine horsepower John Deere 7230R tractor and a 560M round baler. The second baling team is led by a 170 engine horsepower John Deere 6170R tractor and it is operating a 569 round baler. Now that you know about the fleet of farm machinery that is working in this location, let's head out to the field so that you can take in the sights and sounds of the straw baling operation and winter wheat harvest. Actually, your second generation of gearing um, off. It's my second, second set of heads, and I feel like we we just get more experience with them all the time, and just it was a learning curve with the first ones, but uh, we uh, we've gotten along real well with them on these second ones. We've uh, this makes our second wheat crop through these these heads right here, and just we've had no 
trouble as of right now. We've had nothing go wrong, which that's not to say it won't. But. <laughs> you can see it really kind of flexing over here through a dip in the field. And so watching the combines out in the ground, it looks like you're moving along through the field pretty good with these. Yeah, we're moving along pretty good. I, I really like the, the cutter bar on these things. It's, uh, it's got that Schumacher uh, cutter bar, and it really does a good job on, the, on cutting the wheat. I really like it. And it, we've had good luck with it, cutting beans. Uh, the, the guards, they don't break. They're, they're actually made out of, you know, not not cast metal, but just, just regular steel. And, and they um, they do a super job. I mean, we just, we just been really, really I notice also that the um, the combines jump in anywhere from two and a half up to four miles per hour. Is it auto adjusting to it is, it meet is, the wheat crop? It is auto adjusting. What we're doing here is we're actually being able to go in here and set our, our how much pressure we want against our rotor. We set our maximum ground speed, maximum engine horsepower that we want to reach, and as you can see, it tries to tries to reach that. Uh, we can also go into it and set the aggressiveness, but that that's in wheat. It's plenty plenty for that It uh, seems to do a really good job with that and of course we're doing the auto maintain and, and uh, You can see here where it's got uh, Got a little water in the lens there, but uh, it uh, you can see the clean grain right here as it goes through and then uh, It kind of gives you a sample of what's going on. Of course, it's adjusting as we go through the field it is um, it's adjusting these parameters right here as we go through the field if it if it sees that it needs to change so this has three sections that actually flex it, it looks like i can see the reel over there is a little bit higher than the center yes uh, it, it, it'll flex out on the ends um, it actually has basically hinges, hinges in two, two places on the, on, off the center of the head. Uh, and I think that's very similar to how the deer will operate as well. And this has an air system on it. I guess we can see the, the hoses it does. lower there. It does. And I don't know in wheat how much grain you actually save with wheat, but I do know in beans it works well.
This big grain cart team, comprised of the 570 engine horsepower John Deere 9570RX articulated track tractor and the 1300 bushel Brent 1396 Avalanche grain cart, stay busy throughout the day hauling wheat away from the two combines. Winter wheat in western Kentucky typically yields around 95 to 100 bushels per acre, and this big cart will unload 850 bushels per second into the truck, which will haul the wheat back to the farm for storage.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field seeing the wheat harvest and straw baling operation on this western Kentucky farm. I'd like to hear in the comment section below if you harvest wheat on your farm. Tell me about the combine that you're running and if you bale straw after the harvest. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more wheat harvesting videos from Big Tractor Power YouTube. As always, thank you for watching.